Hello and welcome to this very special edition of On My Bookshelf, where in this episode I'm going to be looking at From Dawn to Dusk by Ross Hodnot and Mark Bower. So this is a special edition of On My Bookshelf because I'm very lucky today uh, where I'm going to be getting a chance to interview both authors of this book and we're going to have a chat about the book and find out a bit more about what's in it. But after the interview do stay tuned because there'll be a competition to win a signed copy of the book. Um, guys, thanks very much for inviting me along to this uh, very special episode of uh, On My Bookshelf where I believe you um, are just in the preparation of signing and sending out your new book. Um, from dawn to dusk. Um, for the people that might not know who you are, would you mind giving me a, a quick brief introduction, please? Right. I'm Mark Bauer. I'm a landscape photographer based in Dorset, and I have the great privilege of working with Ross Hodnot, <laughs> running a, a company called Dawn to Dusk Photography, uh, which uh, um, runs workshops throughout the UK and uh, occasionally beyond. And I'm Ross Hodnot. I'm a, a wildlife photographer and a, a landscape photographer, and yeah, I've got the great pleasure of working with Mark. Excellent. But this is not your first book together, is it? This is, will be number three together? That's so, correct, yes. So you must be doing something right. How is it doing that sort of collaborative process with book writing when you, when you both live in different counties? Yeah, it's, it's, it actually works quite well, doesn't it? I mean, we, we both have a, a very kind of similar writing style and, and a, a relatively similar kind of outlook to, to landscape photography anyway. Yes. Um, and um, yeah, I, th I think actually we, we're quite good at dividing the chapters up and, and, and what bits we're going to... Work yeah, it, it usually works quite well. I mean, there are yeah. certain things that you're sort of more naturally driven towards when it comes to, to writing yeah. and, and sort of certain things that, that you know, I, I perhaps know a little bit yeah, more about. Yeah, definitely. So well, you're more technical, aren't you? I drew the short straw and got night photography <laughs> yeah, with this book. that's right, um, which I was really pleased about. <laughs> <laughs> so, 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 but, talking uh, of the book, you've, you've obviously had your, your two previous books which have been right, very yeah. successful. What's new in this book? What, what, what is this, this book about, if you kind of, kind of summarise it for the audience? Well, it was more your sort of um, baby, well, this yeah, one, wasn't the, it? Yeah, I mean, so... it's, it's, it's very tricky because obviously we have done two books before and, and there's a, a lot that's written on landscape photography already, so, so you kind of want to avoid too much repetition yeah. and we want to avoid too much repetition with our previous titles as well. So it's kind of looking at, at this from a slightly different angle and the one thing you get a huge amount of in landscape photography is talking about just, just the kind of the golden hours yeah. and, and being able to take pictures just in great light. We kind of wanted to emphasise the point that good landscape photography was possible throughout the day. It, you know, obviously, the, 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 you know, dawn and dusk do generally present the best opportunities. But we wanted to just show that, that you know, you can take good images of the landscape. There's different opportunities um, and actually the different times of day suit different techniques. And, and yeah, because landscape photographers tend to avoid middle of the day, don't that's they? Right. You know, it's, it's, yeah. not, it's not perceived yeah. as being... The right time to shoot is it? Yeah. So I guess it's quite interesting to see a, a chapter on how to shoot in the, in the middle of the day because yeah. I guess people are missing out, aren't they? With, with some really good opportunities there. Mm, so. Yeah, and and I think also, I mean, not everybody uh, has the ability or has the opportunity rather to mm. to get out in those mm. golden hours all the time. Most photographers yeah. have got full time jobs as well, you know, so they're restricted to weekends and holidays. Mm. You know, they, they, they might have to take the kids to football yeah. practice or something early yeah. in the morning. Yeah. And, and so the only time that they can get out with the camera might be in the middle of the day or the middle of the afternoon or something. So making people uh, aware of what mm. the opportunities yeah. are at those times of day, we thought was a good thing. Yeah, yeah I think, you know, when you when you shoot in the middle of the day, I know it's also in the book, you, you do talk a little bit about equipment uh, and neutral density mm. filters. So, um, it's quite interesting to see, I guess, you, you still need to cover the, the equipment side of stuff because you use mm. slightly different equipment for each of the different times of day. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's, it's kind of trying to highlight different bits of kit. And I mean, obviously, we're not suggesting that those items are exclusively ideal for, for mm. you know, that, that particular time of day, but it's just highlighting certain techniques or, or, or bits of equipment that, that work particularly well in a certain type of light um, and, and kind of highlighting the, the, the benefits, really, of, of, of doing that. But this, this is very much a standalone book, isn't it? So any, anyone who's thinking about picking this up, mm. they don't necessarily need to have read 
um, the no. workshop book or, or the art of landscape photography book. No, but if they did want to buy them and read them first, they would get a lot from them. <laughs> <All that. laughs> I think, it's, it's, a really, it's a really good point you made. So, so, so kind of one of the big issues we have with, with writing a new mm. book is, is that we want to avoid repetition with, yeah. with previous titles, but equally we can't assume that people have the previous book, so we have to we have to kind of you know uh, make sure that this does stand alone. Yeah. So it covers you know kit and, and, and technique, but then it, it swiftly moves on to kind of chapters focusing on different times of the day. So I think obviously one of the, the, the key things in this book is all about there's a chapter on, on preparation and using yeah. the, checking the weather and apps mm. and um, that that was a I guess a key part of the book. Mm. Yes, I mean, I mean it, it, it's a, a key skill in yeah. landscape photography, I think, is, is planning and research. Uh, and again, especially for people who, who perhaps don't have the uh, chance to, to get out with a camera all the time, being able to plan, prepare and make mm. the most of the time that is available is, is really important. And those are skills well worth learning. Yeah. But don't you think, though, also, that, I mean, that's, that's really relevant to, to um, all photographers, because, you know, when you work professionally, your yeah. time is also very limited, mm. and and you've got to you've got to. I mean, when you're dealing with the outdoors, nothing's ever guaranteed. Yeah. But you've got you've just got to be as efficient as possible, don't you? Because yeah. you just don't want to waste good opportunities. Definitely. And you know, look, looking at, at the weather and, and tides, and you know all these different things. Obviously, plan your shoot, viewpoint, sun's position. You know, they are very key things for for all photographers because time yeah. is such a precious thing. So technique is quite a big part yes. of the book as well. Um, I mean, I guess for photographers who don't go out shooting in the middle of the day, is there any sort of advice or, or techniques that could be um, applied to shooting during the day? Yeah, sure. I mean, one of the things that that we discuss here is the opportunities for black and white yeah. photography in the middle of the day, infrared photography, um, using extreme ND filters by the coast to get long exposures and converting those to black and white and so on and so forth. And uh, one of the things we tried to do in each chapter was to bring in techniques that are relevant mm. to yeah. that, that time yeah. of day. Well, one of the things I noticed during this book that's different and I really liked reading was actually the final short section at the end okay. of each yep. time of day. Tell me a little bit about how that, that part of the book came into play and why you've got that in there. Well, the, yeah, the idea is every, every chapter is kind of structured in a similar way, as, as Mark was just saying, that, that there's a bit about technique and process, and it's kind of all divided yeah. with things which, which are aimed at that time of day. And, and then we thought at the end of the chapter, we'll just have one image, which kind of brings it all together. So, so you know, kind of looking at all the things that we've discussed, all the kind of different yeah. possibilities, and then an image that, that, that kind of illustrates yeah, that. So what then, yeah, what, that's right, what you've exactly. And then, and then kind of a little bit of the story behind it, you know, talking about, you know, what we were thinking when we took the shot, the reason why we made those decisions, um, and hopefully that, that kind of insight will be quite useful to the reader as well. Well, guys, again, thanks very much for, oh, for your time. You. I know how busy thank you are. You're, you're busy yeah. sort of signing and, and sending out the pre-orders <laughs> yeah, at the no, moment, aren't you? Yeah, definitely. No, but it's, I really appreciate you taking the time yeah. to, to come and yeah. chat to us. So thank you. Thanks, thanks very thank much. Been Brilliant. A pleasure. So I do hope you enjoyed that interview with uh, Mark and Ross. It was a real pleasure uh, to get, see the guys packing up their books, signing copies, uh, and the excitement of uh, getting a new book out onto the shelves. Now, if you do want to order a copy of this book, um, you can do so directly from the guys. I'll be putting a link to their website uh, in the video description below. Um, it's dawntodustphotography.co.uk and that's two with a number two. But like I say, I'll put a link in the video description below. But if you do want to win a copy of this book and the guys have been really generous and they'll be including signed copies of their two previous books. So there's actually three books uh, to win here. Um, I'll tell you how you can win them. So if you leave a comment on this video, if you like and comment this video, you'll be automatically entered in to the draw. There'll also be another way you can win a copy. So there'll be a Facebook page, a Facebook post, um, where I'll be posting information about this video review. So if you go onto Facebook as well, and you like, comment, and most importantly, you need to share the post. If you share the post, you'll get another entry. So you can actually get up to two entries in to the competition to win those books. So, but I'll put all the details in the video description below, including links to the uh, Facebook post as well. So I did hope you enjoyed this very special edition of On My Bookshelf. If you did, please do consider hitting that like button and of course leaving me a comment, which of course will get you free entry into the competition to win those three books. Um, and if you did like this content and you perhaps want to see more, do please consider hitting that subscribe button. And if you do, remember to click on that bell icon so you'll receive a notification as soon as I post up a new video. But until the next one, I'll see you then.